another run of the same Stanton event during PTU, and this time we were en route to recover cargo from a stricken hauling vessel. How much slice of resistance would we face? Smoother journey this time than we did earlier. Blaz, I'll let you hop in because you're probably a little more knowledge on what's going on with them. Well, I wear helmets on, I'll turn off. I haven't turned off life support. I just did. So you're doing our power management, okay, great. Give us some more weapon power then. Yep, yep. Sorry. We got a buck. Boost up our decoys because they don't seem to do much these days. Blaz was on our turret and ready to engage. Here we go. Their first target was not very lively, but their backup would soon be on us. Good chain, Blaz, good chain. That's good. Yeah. Ooh, folks. This is her Tanner. Yeah. Oh, we got it. Yeah. We're taking fire from something. Oh, I see it. It's her, the back. Box, I think. Yeah, good hits, good hits. Yeah, it's one gun, one gun. Oh, it's a hornet. It's a hornet. 12 o'clock. I've only got one gun firing, and we might have lost the gun. Got some red. I'm putting some noise up quick. We'd push out a little to recover, but the slicers were in pursuit. On it. And possibly due to damage, I now only had one of the main guns able to fire. I've only got one yep. gun, so... Yeah, there we go. Good work, good work. Nice. Oh, what's this on us now? That is a... It's a Valkyrie. Valkyrie. Now, in the last run, our Zeus had been disabled by missiles extremely quickly, so I was extremely conscious of our damage on this run. Awesome. Wait, is that, is that something on us exploding or something on an enemy ship exploding? Yes. Noise out again. And missile locks were definitely alarming. Oh god. Come on, flares, do your job. Okay, yes, thank god they did their job this time. Yeah, I'm on it now. It's below us. Uh 30? I oh, know. Oh, we took a hit that time. I see it, I see it. Desynced, maybe? I don't know where Valk, 12 o'clock. Should be an easier target, but I'm half my weapons. The option to go repair was starting to look inviting. Break off from yeah, maybe we should. I don't know. It's the blade that we've damaged. Okay, look, I think we should pull back for up here because, like, we have. We're pretty red right now and we're like 50% on weapons. Yeah. Yeah. Can we go ahead and jump out though since I can't do anything? Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. We jump in. We'd be heading to a mining outpost on Ariel, and while we'd been damaged, I was pleased we'd lasted longer than our previous excursion. We took some damage. We did take some damage there. Yeah. We took off the two of the wings of the one, one blade, so... It's yeah. Fun. We took out a Hornet and we took out the Buck and something else. And we'd spot a very unexpected hostile ship close to the mining outpost. We got a hostile here at the... Oh, uh, okay.
We were about to enter an armistice zone now, so the threat was only minor. I don't know. Oh, is this? Let me jump out of the uh, sink. See if we can repair. Yeah. As we repaired the ship, Furball would also join us and was going to provide backup from a talent strike when we returned to the mission objective. It's gonna be when we're back here we're doing yoga. Our spirits on board were high as we returned to the objective. Here we go. Flying through this kind of debris though can always be dangerous. <laughs> Ooh, no. We almost hit something down where I was closer than you'd be comfortable if you knew. Jeez. It's probably best if I didn't tell you how close I was. But on our return, the slices were seemingly inactive, possibly just as well known as our own weapons were now giving us problems. My weapons aren't charging now either. Damn it. I got one full charge out of them. Okay, power off. Now they're charging. He wants to sit there, that's fine with me. <laughs> the next target was also inactive. It's like we broke them by disengaging. Right, yeah, we should take them out now, I guess, so that we can go grab that cargo while they're all sleeping. Uh, okay, well, they're not me. Okay, let's go for the cargo. Screw it. We're not here to cheap bad guys we're here to move boxes damn it so we'd leave the remaining enemy ships for now maybe they'd reactivate at some point we didn't know the cargo was on body freelance though and we were heading for that next well luckily we're out of the environment Recovering the cargo was underway, and the way tracked beams work has changed with the two mouse buttons activating either the traversal or the cargo moving modes now, but in my opinion, the default triggers are the wrong way round. Oh no, I'm using the wrong goddamn mode, that's what it is. Yeah, you did what I did yesterday. Right? Yes, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Am I close enough to- oh, I can just grab them from here, that's good. Like, the bay isn't huge, but it's got enough size, you know? Moving the crates here was so peaceful that I've forgotten we had a support ship along with us. Well, now I can't get these to snap. Wait, we got a ship. There's a ship next to us. Uh... It's a rogue turbo. It's just a rogue turbo. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, that's the objective for getting the cargo out of the ship is complete, but can we fit it all into our ship? Now, another really kind of urgent quality of life fix TNG could add would be preventing cargo from becoming bugged if two or more tractor beams are active on it at once and the original beam is then deactivated. That's another thing I wish they would fix is the whole cargo getting stuck. Yeah, Chief, there's a bunch out here you're gonna have to grab. I can grab this one. We ended up with some awkward cargo floating around, but our crew were determined to fit it all into the ship, no matter what. Yeah, this cargo bay is not laid out very well. As long as you can squeeze it in, I suppose it doesn't have to be on the grid. There's one, up, there's one above the wing. We'll see. Damn, that's uh, that's some, that's some good packing you did there. Wow. Where are we dropping this off to? 
so it might be Hurston's. Let's find out. No, it's Art Club. But the drop off point was Art Club, which was quite a flight from here over at Ariel. Yeah, there we go. Now we're moving. Now we were in motion, it was a good opportunity to go and see how well Vlaz and Chief had packed up the cargo in the bay. How is it looking back there, Vlaz? Um, if you've ever tried to move out of a, a place like super quick, you just kind of threw things in the back of a, you know, like a truck or something. It's so weird, there's so much space back behind the grid. Like, there's loads of space. Yeah. Yeah, it's all in uh, there, though. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, is, it is stacked in very haphazardly, wow. There's even one sitting behind the one that's kind of tilted. Do you know what I think they should do, I really think, is... Um, I think the triggers for the tractor beam are the wrong way around. Yeah. That, like, the, the box grabbing one should be the primary trigger and the traversal should be secondary because I'm I'm using the wrong mode way too often and it's because it's the primary button you know when we arrived at Art Corp I was surprised to see that the drop-off point was Bajini point rather than down on the surface yeah I think we're just at the front I tried to land us facing the ramp to the freight elevator, but gravity in the hangar seems strangely high here. Why is gravity so he heavy in the hangars now? All it was to do now was load up the freight elevator and send it down. The bug cargo would add a little awkwardness, but nothing we couldn't work around. I think I can get these on even though they are like bugged. Well. where there's nothing. With the full crew helping, it would be a very quick job. And yeah, no, I'm watching your feed. Yeah, I'm watching your feed. Yeah. It, it's definitely decent because it's not, it's not what's happening. I'm seeing the I am my maximum Yeah. Yeah, okay. Cool. First flight is down. The variety of missions involved in this upcoming Save Stanton event I think is going to be a lot of fun. When Overdrive ran, it was really cool hopping in each week to get the objectives complete with our Discord friends. There was just something about everyone working towards the same goal that made it feel very alive, even back when the missions were really just regular missions. I am very much looking forward to that feeling again when Save Stanton comes to live. Now I am very pleased to announce the winner of our LTI Nomad Game Package giveaway with the comment that you see on screen right now. Aero Furlin is our winner. I am probably butchering the pronunciation there, I'm sorry, but congratulations to you on being our winner. For everyone else though, fret not as we are running another LTI game package giveaway today, this time featuring the ever useful Drake Cutter, again with LTI. For your chance to win, again hit that like button and drop a comment below and I'll pick out a winning comment in the next couple of days. And of course, a huge thank you to CIG for sending out these cool prizes for us to give away and for all of their hard work in bringing this enormously ambitious game to life. As always, I want to thank all of you at home for watching and all of our very generous patrons that you can see on screen right now. These people keep this channel going with their very generous support and I just want to thank each and every one of them for choosing to support the channel. Thank you. We'll be back with more from Star Citizen very soon.